Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Uh, this morning we begin our Lenten journey, uh, at least in our hymnody and in the liturgical books as we begin the Lenten Triodium, uh, using the Lenten Triodium, those books that have these hymns that walk us through this journey, uh, walk us down this path, a path of repentance. And so this morning, this uh, Sunday of the publican and the Pharisee, as we just heard that gospel reading, we also heard for the first time before liturgy, uh, it's a hymn that we sing during Orthros. Uh, and, and though we don't serve all of Orthros here on Sunday mornings, uh, during Lent we sing this beautiful hymn, and it is, Open to me the doors of repentance. And it says, Open to me the doors of repentance, O life giver, for my soul goeth early to the temple of thy holiness, coming in the temple of my body wholly polluted, but because thou art compassionate, purify me by the compassion of thy mercies. Prepare for me the way of salvation, O Theotokos, for I have profaned myself with coarse sins and consumed my whole life with procrastination. But by thine intercession purify thou me from all abomination. Have mercy on me, O God, according to the great mercy and according to the multitude of thy compassion, blot out my transgressions. If I think upon the multitude of my evil deeds, wretch that I am, I tremble, I tremble for the terrible day of judgment. But trusting the compassion of thy mercy, I shout to thee like David, have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy great mercy. And similarly, we could say we bow down like the publican and cry out, have mercy upon me, O God. This beautiful hymn, and I encourage you all to start trying to come a couple minutes early to liturgy so you can hear it sung. Uh, but this beautiful hymn is a reminder to us of that door at which we stand this Lenten season. Whenever we want to get into some place, whether it's coming home from the grocery store with our hands full, or it's going uh, to the mall or anywhere else, we stand at a door that we need to open. Our life in Christ and this Lenten season is a reminder about that door at which we stand. Open unto me the door of repentance, we say. Open unto me the door of repentance that my soul, which goeth early to the temple of thy holiness, which comes in the temple of my body. Open unto me the door of repentance. This Lenten season, I encourage you all uh, to come to confession. Whether it's with me, or it's another Orthodox priest that you go to regularly, it's fine with me. However, as you go to confession, I encourage you to go not just thinking, I need to get this done, because every year I should go to confession at least once, or at least four times, or at least twelve times a year, no matter what the number. But rather, as you go to confession, think about the house about which you are entering. Think about the temple that you enter as you enter it in the temple of your body, the temple of God. Prepare yourself for confession, not just thinking, how little can I say so that I feel like I can tick this box? But rather, how much can I prepare that my soul might enter into the very kingdom of God? How much can I prepare that my body might be the temple of God? Open unto me the door of repentance, O God. Stand at that door and knock. Jesus says, he who stands at the door and knocks, to him it will be opened. And so we stand at the door of repentance, asking God to help prepare us to receive him. Asking God to help us on this journey. On this Lenten journey, yes, but on the journey of our life that leads us through repentance to the very kingdom of God. As you prepare this Lenten season that is about to be upon us, 
as you prepare to go to confession, do so not with anxiety or with, you know, or with the reserve of saying, well, I don't want to go, but rather prepare yourself with the hope and the joy of knowing that it is through repentance that we receive the kingdom of God. The publican in this morning's gospel understood repentance. It was in humility that he approached God. The Pharisee, as well as he had done in all of these external things, though he had fasted and though he had tithed, though he had truly prepared himself outwardly, yet he neglected the inward preparation that is necessary to receive Christ. For our faith is both inward and outward, internal and external. Our faith is one in which we are prepared, both body and spirit, to receive the very kingdom of God. And so we prepare ourselves in repentance. And even in this we ask God's help. Open unto me, O Lord, the door of repentance. For even that we cannot do on our own. The publican recognized his depravity, recognized the fullness of that which he was lacking. We sing in this hymn, I have profaned myself with coarse sins and, in consume, and consumed my whole life with procrastination, that we might be purified from all abomination. Repentance, humility, leads us to recognize that which we don't have, that we might approach God to open our hearts, to open our bodies and our whole lives to receive Him. And so, like the publican, we cry out, Have mercy upon me, O God. Like David, we cry out, have mercy upon me, O God. And so we cry out that same prayer. Have mercy upon me, O God. We fall down in repentance that God might open the gates to the kingdom of heaven for us through repentance and through humility. Our faith is one that leads us to know that it is by falling down in repentance that God lifts us up to receive the very kingdom that he has prepared for us. And so let us cry out, have mercy upon me, O God. Let us fall down in humility, something very foreign to this world. Let us fall down in humility that we might unite ourselves to Christ who humbled himself for our sakes, that we may rise up again with him to new life. And so it is in humility that we cry out, have mercy upon me, O God, and in humility that we worship him who is God, not ourselves, and that we might worship and glorify him, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever.